what is up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is mara definitely make sure that you subscribe in today's video as you guys can see my hair is still straight i told you guys it was going to stay straight for a while okay so for today i'm just going to be telling you guys how i maintain my hair for a long period of time when it is straight so i'm just going to be updating you guys on that because i think the last time i did one was like a year or two ago but again y'all not really has changed so if y'all want to go back and reference that video as well on how i maintain my hair while it is straight definitely go and check it out i will link it above or in the comments or something like that i don't know but let's just get right into this video okay so real quick for those of you that are new welcome again if you don't know i have pretty long hair my hair is tailbone length like it's, it's touching some places where it shouldn't be touching okay it's right there at that length so how do i maintain my hair at this length for a month or so first off i feel like going a month or over with my hair straight i honestly feel as though i got my time served with my hair straight because honestly if i was to straighten my hair and then let it stay straight for only a week or two weeks then i'll be mad because like there was no point in me straightening my hair so so i do like to straighten my hair and leave it straight for a period of time so a month a month and a half i feel like that's a good amount of time for me before my hair starts looking crusty okay so how do i maintain my hair at night so i have a satin scarf that i lay over top of my pillowcase um when my hair is straight and when my hair is curly so pretty much it's it's there 24 7 all throughout the year okay um because you know cotton is a no-no so that silk satin scarf that is laid on top of my pillowcase my main pillow that i sleep on but when my hair is straight i actually wrap my hair in a do-rag which i also have in my last video as well so i wrap my hair with a do-rag how i've been doing it for this past month like i told you guys i have a wedding to go to it's now what day is it it's saturday it's now saturday april 24th i have a wedding to go to on the 28th so so far my hair has hung up pretty well <laughs> okay okay so my hair <laughs> my hair has hung up pretty well which i'm very grateful for because the weather has been ugly it's been raining um but like i said i wrap my hair every single night i pretty much just take it out the next day when i feel like taking it out or if I'm not doing anything for that day, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not running out to get food or anything because I'm still working from home, the next day I will actually leave a wrap and then pretty much it'll be wrapped until the following day. So pretty much I'll have my hair wrapped two days in a row and then probably take it out the next day. So that is how I have been doing it. Another thing that I do when my hair is straight or I should say I don't do is I don't add too much oil to my hair, okay? That's... That's my number one pet peeve when your hair is straight and you want it to remain silky and got some movement and body to it. You definitely don't want to add too much oil. One, because your hair is going to look greasy. I don't like my hair greasy. As of right now, I can tell that my hair is a little bit greasy in the roots, but that is not because I put oil in my hair. That is because of your natural oils that come from your scalp or something like that. Um... So my hair is kind of greasy only in my scalp area. I can definitely tell because my hair is a little bit more stiffer in this area and it's like flat to my head, okay? It's flat to my head and this part has movement and it has, it definitely has movement but it's not as like fluent and loose as the bottom half is. So that's what I said, like you don't want to add too much oil to your hair or you don't want to add heavy oils to your hair because then it'll start to make your hair look greasy and then it'll kind of like coat your hair it'll weigh it down so try to stay away from heavier oils how i'm going to get some of the grease out of my scalp i did it when i was relaxed that was years ago though and i did it before when i was straight with my natural hair that was about two years ago when my hair was about up here and i did like the beach waves or whatever i used dry shampoo part of my scalp sprayed it and then just kind of like i think i brushed it or i combed it something like that but pretty much what dry shampoo is or what it does it pretty much just soaks up the oil that is on your scalp and is on your hair strands that is like more so in the roots so that is what i do to kind of like draw out that oil so that way my hair can last a little bit longer but with the bottom half of my hair what i do i focus my chi so confusion y'all know that little oil that i use when i straighten my hair um, that is a very lightweight oil. If you haven't tried it, I have the link in my bio. But the Chi Silk Confusion, it not only helps with getting your hair silky when you straighten it or when you blow dry it or whatever, but it's a lightweight oil that you can use throughout 
your process of your hair being straight pretty much i've used that every single time i've straightened my hair when i was relaxed when i was natural and i never had a problem with it so i would only apply it to like the bottom half of my hair where it's not like up here i don't focus oil up there i focus it from here and down just so that way I can kind of like put a little moisture back into my hair and it can look shiny still and everything also another thing that I like to do when I try to keep my hair as straight as possible for as long as possible I will try to stay away from anything that can bound my hair too tight and that can put creases in my hair why because if you have creases in your hair more than likely you're not gonna have time to wrap your hair if you're just taking it down or whatever and you see the creases or you're gonna have to end up trying to straighten them out don't nobody have time for that another thing that I'm going to do to keep my hair straight um, without it looking dingy for the wedding because y'all know it's, a, it's in a few days okay so I need to trim my ends the last time I straightened my hair it was in December of 2020 and during that time I pretty much told y'all that my hair was still in the trimmed cut so at that time when I straightened my hair I didn't have to trim it because it already had like that trimmed cut so there was no point in me cutting it my hair at the bottom is just all type of split ends as well as the little single strand knots is not as many as i thought i would have but they there and i don't like it and plus my hair also grew out of that trim as well so i need to kind of like even it out because i only like the blunt cuts so that's what I'm going to do as well. Um, I feel like that's all that I really do. Like I said, not too much has changed. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Definitely make sure you subscribe. Definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I will see you guys in the next video.